Okay, first off, I'm mad as sin because I just did two vlogs and YouTube kept giving me an error message. So I'm going to go on my phone and record it. Um, as some of you know, I have lost, as of today, 64 pounds. And I have a long ways to go. I'm not setting a goal for 2020. I'm setting a goal for how much I want to lose down to. Um, I've had a few people message me and say, hey, how are you losing a weight? The best advice I can give you is when you go in a grocery store, you only shop the outer walls. The inner aisles is where the bad food is. You don't need that. Shop only the outer walls. So we get butter. Yes, we eat butter. 2% milk. Got to have my milk. Um, cheese, bacon, um, fish, chicken, pork, uh, beef. And then I go down the side aisle and get our fresh vegetables. Um, I do drink this. If I set me if you want. I can't go without it. Um, and I know I shouldn't be drinking it because it could help. But to me, that's my daily um, whatever you want to call it. I was when... When I was blind in a hospital, you know, I kept saying, why am I feeling so sorry for myself? I'm fat. You know, and even though I've been losing the weight since November, November 6th, when I got out of the hospital, the very next day, now mind you, I had a double concussion. I got my Bowflex out and I had that thing singing, let me tell you. You could have stood behind it and stood there as a fan. And I literally, literally punished myself an hour every day every day I still do it um, the other day and I'm just going to admit it we went to Burger King and I did get a Whopper a fry and a sweet tea I only ate half of my Whopper I gave the other half to Alice I did eat all my fries I did drink all of my sweet tea and after and oh god you guys this is so embarrassing I went to Walmart and I picked up the very, very thin uh, beef. There's some very thin beef that you can get. And you can actually wrap, like, vegetables and stuff in it. And I just fry mine up and then roll them up and just put the vegetables inside or the cheese. So we went in Walmart and we went down the Valentine's aisle. And I was like, because I'd eat it my 50 rolls of toilet paper. I just joke behind it. So... They had these little six packs of the um, peanut butter, Reese peanut butter cups. And I'm just being honest. Y'all can laugh, call me a fat ass. I don't care. I ate the whole six pack. Embarrassing, I know. So I got it the next morning and it showed that I was three pounds up. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and this is funny. Any of you guys that's losing weight, I know y'all have done it because you've told me. I went to the next morning, and I'm not going to say what I did because you know what I'm thinking. And I weighed myself again. I was like, well, the scale didn't move. So I was like, well, okay, okay. You want to go in there and eat that food, I'm going to teach you a lesson. I went in there, and I had that Bowflex singing, let me tell you. It's 200 pounds. It's 100 on each. And I had that thing singing. And I had, I was doing targeted exercises on my lower back. And those of you that know, uh, my lower back is in severe condition, especially my right facet and sacroiliac joints. Um, I also have broke all three of my vertebrae and my tailbone, and I have severe arthritis in it. I've had two MRIs, and I'm just going to go back a little bit. When I was in a hospital with my two concussions, when they done my whole body uh, MRI, they have it on there about my back. And I'm like, well, you're telling me something that I already knew. And, you know, and that just made me so mad. And I'm like, why are they focusing on my back? That's not going to hold me back from anything. So... My husband hates it when I rock back and forth, but I can't help it. That's my, my way of keeping my back moving. And I will kid you not, outside of the weight loss, I have been working out for nine days straight. 
at least an hour and I have not had any pain in my lower back. It's gone. So by gosh, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm so sick and tired of laying here wallowing in my own self-misery and thinking that I need all these pills and I need to do nothing but lay around. And that's what my doctors had me believe in. But I felt sorry for myself. I'm like, oh God, my back's going to hurt. One doctor is like, oh, you're going to be a wheelchair by the time you're 50. Well, guess what? No, I'm not. I got tired of my husband seeing me go through that pain. It's not fair to him. You know, and there was times when I told him, I was like, you know, if you want, if you don't want to be with me because of my health, leave me. Find someone better. I'll sign the divorce papers. You just go be happy. Because I had more respect for him as a husband than I did myself. So, I'm sorry, y'all. Because of concussions, I have what's called ataxia. And it will make your mind stop thinking. And I'm sorry. And sometimes on stream, I'll just be talking. All of a sudden, I'll just go quiet. I can't help it. I have to live with it the rest of my life. Um, and there are other, there's other side effects to it. So, my word of advice is to shop the outer walls. And I've kind of obsessed with weighing myself every day. I've got to stop. And it's going to be once a week. I had someone to tell me, do it once every two weeks. No, that's not going to happen. Um, I just want everyone to be healthy. Stop eating the bad food. When you shop the inner aisles, look on the back of the packaging. Look at all the preservatives that's in it. Look at the carbs. Look at all of that. And you, and I'm not saying it to be mean, but you diabetics, you guys better very much take care of yourself. Because diabetes can really take a toll on your body. So, and that's the reason why I shop the Outer Walls in a grocery store. Is because it's, it's much healthier for Daryl because he's a type 2 diabetic. And his blood sugars are running better. I have a friend that probably about five years ago, she was 300 and some pounds. Well, she started shopping only the outer walls. And she lost 150 pounds. I kid you not. I, couldn't, I can't believe it's her now. Um, she's headed for plastic surgery to get her, her basic gut removed. So if I put me a GoFundMe up to get my fat roll removed, give me a dollar. Um, because right now I come with my own fan club. My fat literally cheers me on. So I'm going to end it here. I think I'm going to go in here and hang the clothes up. I'm a hot mess right now because I've been walking outside. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. I mean, I'm an open book. I'll I'll tell you anything. I don't hide anything. I will say what's on my mind. Even if it's got cuss words in it, I don't care. Because nobody is going to define me and nobody's going to tell me what to do. The only person I have to listen to is myself. The second person I listen to is my husband. That's it. That's all. And that's what matters. And my friends will tell me, I've got friends right now, tell me, you know what? You're fat. You need to lose some weight. Huh? Whatever. I don't care. What if I don't want to? What if I go back and eat all that food again? I've got a closet full of high-end clothing in there. I can't wear it now. It falls off of me. I'm down two sides, sizes. And I was sitting here a while ago, and I was like, and I can't remember if I put this on, on this vlog or the previous one, but I have one shirt that I just, it was my favorite. And it's like gauze fabric. And I was sitting on over the heater vent, and I put it on, and I was like, you know what, this thing is not going to fit me now. So the heat cut on, and it was like poofed out really big, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to have to wear a tank top or something under this. And I pay $39 for that shirt. It's like my favorite shirt of all time. So eBay is going to love me when I put some of my fat chick clothes on there. And that's just what I call it, call it fat chick. So that's just the way it is. So, I'm going to end this here. My husband hates it when I go over 10 minutes. So, I'm looking at it right now. It's 9.53. Thanks for watching.